There we go. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to another episode in of, uh, let's see, Revolution Fighting Championship. My brain is mush. <laughs> we got Revolution 5 coming up in, it looks about five weeks, featuring Dan Henderson's first Revolution FC Open Weight Championship title defense against Ensign Inoue. Of course, we have Carlos Newton looking to uh, bounce back from his loss against Egan Inoue. Uh, I believe this is one of Joe Charles' first. Yeah, he was he was in the tournament and lost. So we'll have that. Let's see. Mikey Burnett. I can't remember if he's actually been. Yes, he's had a fight with us. And then, of course, uh, Andre the Chief Roberts. Uh, Valentine Overeem. That should be dope. So quite a quite a quite a few people that I'm uh, I'm looking forward to. And is Fedor coming to the database? I don't know. I don't know when was Fedor's first fight. I feel like it probably. I don't know. It's one of those things where when you mention that, it's like you know I feel like he's probably been around forever. What was his first fight? 2000. So, I'd, I'd probably say, you know, I don't know if it's going to be, like, if it's going to be in, like, less than two years, but, you know, it's going to it's gonna be it's still a little ways off, but not, not far. Not far. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, we'll go to, you know, we'll keep going to Mondays. Until we get to Until we get to March. Uh, I'm trying to make sure to do streams. <laughs> but I feel like my days if I haven't been um if I haven't been working at uh, dealing with working, it's been Oh, Anoe quit purebred on me after filling it with Yuri Valin. Hmm. I feel like if I haven't been, you know, working, uh, my my uh, my days have been been filled with just trying to stay awake long enough to go to bed late enough to sleep during the night. Because I still have that issue of not really staying asleep throughout the entire night. I have to, like, force myself to stay asleep. Uh, the Itty Gracies out there, there's at least one. Uh, at least in free agency. Let me see here. Yeah, Royler Gracie, Renzo. I think Renzo? No, Renzo's not signed with anything. So there's Renzo Gracie, Royler Gracie. Looks to be it right now. Yeah, it's been it's been it's been a hell of a day. It's been one of those days where it's like I know it'll get better once I get used to certain things, but yeah, it's a lot of like I don't know, it's 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 just like a lot of information I've had to take in in the last in the last like week or so. And it's just made me want to <laughs> I have to like convince myself that I kind of do want a, uh, I kind of do want a job like this, which, you know, I know once I get used to it, it'll be fine, but it's just one of those things. It's like, do I have to have a job where I think, can I just get a, can I just get a job where, can I just, uh, <laughs> I just have to consider whether or not I should just get one of the one of the other jobs that's just more of a put my head down and work type job. Uh, UFC definitely wants to keep Tank Abbott. All right, that's fine. Sure. Uh, see if there's some new people. Uh, unemployed. 
Active fighter, male, I'm still going to say max at like 30. Uh, based in America. Name value in America maxes at a low level regional. <laughs> Uh, any new guys? This seems like a new guy. I don't know if I want to use him though. This guy looks like he'd be this. This guy looks like he he was an interesting fella. This this guy's definitely something. Jason Delucia. Ah, huh, he's had a lot of fights under his belt already. Oh, he's been in Pride and Pancrase. Huh. <laughs> Some of these early MMA guys, man. Oh, God. I feel like I've seen him before. Uh, he's a maybe. Let's shortlist him. Let's see. He was booked to fight. Okay, Sakuraba facing Brian Gasaway at Pride Bushido 2. That's cool. And he won his fight against a local fighter. Can you imagine a name guy, like, losing to a local fighter? Man, that would suck. <laughs> you know you're an OG when your picture's in black and white. <laughs> Great Mike Tyson of the database. That would be interesting. 1998. Was he? Was this around that? Oh God. When was his? When was his Holyfield fight? <laughs> I mean, we're coming up on what would have been WrestleMania 14. <laughs> So Holyfield versus Tyson 2 was June 97. Okay, so this is less than a year away from that. That is a that is an interesting idea. <laughs> I guess we'll just move on. Week 2, that's the that's the one. Oh, look at that. UFC decides to extend Tank Abbott. That's cool. We'll, we'll, lo we'll look into bringing in more people here uh, in, in, the coming, in the coming weeks, but we have, a, we have a show to put on first. Revolution 5 is tonight. We're, we're past a year now, so that, that feels pretty good. We, we made it through our first year. We're $7,600 in the hole. We could use some money. Oh, God. Pat Militich signed it with UFC. Okay, Eric Martin and Mikey Burnett. Oh, there goes Mikey Burnett. Brennan Kamaka. Oh, no. Oh, no. Laverne Clark left. Oh, no. Pat Militich. Okay, that's fine. But Laverne Clark, Mikey Burnett, Brennan Kamaka. No. Uh... Laverne, no, <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, was he not scheduled for a fight? Oh, damn, that's right. He wasn't scheduled for a fight, so he's just straight up gone. He's just like, hey, man, thanks for all. Thanks for pushing me so hard. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go to UFC and just, you know, go fuck yourself. I'm like, oh, OK, well, I guess that's a thing. Streaming at a respectable time. Yeah, it's mostly because I'm actually, like, working and being awake at a respectable time. <laughs> uh, okay, continue. Show is being held in Iowa. Welcome to the Fuck Laverne Clark show. <laughs> the man, we made him and he left us. 
Uh, main eventing is Dan Henderson versus Ensign Inoue for the Revolution FC open weight title. Carlos Newton meets Egan Inoue. Tony Freak fights Ray Cooper. Joe Charles meets Brennan Kamaka. And Andre Roberts takes on Donald Como. Dangerous Dan Henderson making his first defense of the Revolution FC open weight title. Uh, if successful, it's set a new record for the belt. Uh, he's main eventing his third Revolution show. He's finished three of his five last opponents. He is the number one ranked open weight in Revolution. Ensign is five. This is the first time they have fought. And uh, Henderson, a big favorite to win because there's not really anybody that is in the same league as him in this. <laughs> At least not in our in our deal. <laughs> Uh, Carlos the Ronan Newton, uh, considered a, a favorite. No, nothing to say other than this is the first time these two have fought. Thanks. Appreciate it. Uh, Joe Charles facing Brennan Kamaka. Uh, they say Kamaka is, uh, could, could potentially win, but, uh, I'm personally rooting for Joe Charles because he's staying <laughs> and he could use a win. Kamaka is, could just go, can go screw. Same with Mikey Burnett. Dave Men. Dave Men should really just kick his ass and and leave him, leave him, let the door hit him on the way out. <laughs> Andre the Chief Roberts, that's our new Iowa boy right there. <laughs> From Tama, Iowa. This is this is the Iowa boy right here, Andre Roberts. He's gonna be our new big guy. Valentin Overeem and Rodney Glunder. This is the first time these guys have fought. Significant weight advantage. Both fighters making the Revolution debut. They're most of them going for Overeem in this. Paul Buentello versus Fearless Lance Gibson. Looks like uh, kind of even between them. Buentello's got a weight, uh, a weight advantage, but it's kind of been shown not to be a big deal. And uh, Tony Freakland versus Ray Cooper. Looks like uh, most of them going for uh, Freakland here. We'll see what he's got. Cooper has 0-2 against other members of his team. So we'll see what happens here. Uh, let's see. Uamatsu versus Suda. Is this? These must be. Oh, yeah. I did have prelims, didn't I? Holy crap. I, I forgot that I had prelims on this. All right, uh, Izuru Takeuchi, J.R. Palmer. I figured J.R. Palmer was pretty good, but no, it seems like, I don't know, maybe it's just who we picked up for this. All right, start the timer. Izuru Takeuchi and J.R. Palmer. Oh, my God, he's given up a lot of, uh, a lot of weight. Immediately, J.R. Palmer just beats into him. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ, it's over. <laughs> Just like that. Ah, J.R. Palmer with a with a bit of a weight weight disadvantage. Boom! He's done. Goodbye. Jesus Christ. Alright. You might need to refresh, because I thought when you said stream is freezing up, I'm like, oh please don't be drop frames. But it looks like I'm okay. Jesus, 29 seconds. J.R. Palmer just annihilating him to uh, up his uh, pro record even more. Hey, Kurt, what's up? Name checks all the sponsors. Thanks as fans. He turned out to support him. And away we go to the next prelim. Watch that be like knockout of the night right there. It, it's definitely going to happen. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Uomaso is on his back. Suda already with a with a bit of a pro record here. Taking taking on a guy who has no pro record. So we'll see what happens. Oh man! Hey Daredevil, what's up? Oh, man, that was the end of round one already. <laughs> As I yawn and then look over at the chat, and it's already, it was already, <laughs> the round was done. Jesus Christ. I do need something else to drink, though. I drank my water already. 
Looking for the leg trip. Oh, my God. Look at all the takedowns, man. You know, I know this is probably is just going to... This is probably just going to how it, how it is right here. It's going to be... This is going to be one of those, like, more boring fights right here. Where it's like, yeah, it takes him down. He's going to win based off the fact that he got some takedowns. And that's pretty much it. Well, let's see. I love just in every time you think it's, oh, wow, we actually have a unanimous draw. Usually when they're just like, oh, man, that's pretty close. I think it's going to be a draw. It's like, no, we're just going to throw a wrench in that and we're going to give it to somebody already. It's like, well, fuck me then. Yeah, I'm trying to get used to this new time, too. I keep talking about how tired I am, but it's it's kind of funny because I pray I think I'm about as tired as I usually am. Other than the fact that it's just a normal normal ass time. All three judges 29 28 for Masanori Suda. Sorry, Uematsu. Well, he's only 19. He's got he's got plenty of time. You never know. Suda name checks his sponsors and his fans. Celebrates the Revelation TV victory. He's looking forward to the next fight. The Freak and Barada Ray Cooper. Big John McCarthy. See, now without Laverne Clark, I just feel empty inside. I need I need I need my I need my Laverne Clark. Let's see counter jabs a lot of a lot of jabs here not much happening mm. still not a lot happening it looks like you get some jabs off oh yeah I went to uh, I went to my uh, uh, to a ho local hobby nerd shop today. I bought Blu-rays for a TV show, and I got home and I realized that I had already bought those, so I'm not sure what to do with it. <laughs> I don't know. I, I would give it away on like my stream. I'd give it away on my stream, but I feel like I don't exactly have the sort of uh, this the sort of like viewer base that would care at all about trying to get like a free copy of like a, a season of an anime <laughs> not not even like a cool one either like you could at least maybe make a uh, uh, an argument for like a one punch man or a dragon ball z or something but it's not that <laughs> 1919 now this is the one right here this is the one. Oh no, we are gonna go get. All right. Surprised I haven't started a Joshi division yet. That's just because they don't have, they don't have enough female wrestlers here. <laughs> they don't. They don't have. They. There wasn't a whole lot of female fighters up until like, you know, late two thousands. I'm, I'm probably like a good. 10 years away from having anything that'd be close to a decent uh, women's division. Oh, Franklin with the uh, with the takedown. Yeah. That might be it. Let's see. Oh, Cooper came out just ahead. We'll see what happens. All's judges 29-28 for Ray Cooper. Considered good. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I have a switch. Yeah, I have a switch. Goblin Slayer giveaway. Hey, Okada. All right. Well, that's that's Tony Freakland's first loss. So Ray Cooper probably needed that. He needed he needed he needed to actually like win against somebody recently. I don't know why this Lance Gibson this picture of Lance Gibson just kind of freaks me out a little bit. Looks like a disembodied, like, like head. I don't know. Just posed in some weird way. Mm. 
Oh, there we go. Saving trade. Nothing. Not much. Not much happening. Oh, Gibson coming in for a takedown. Nothing happening. Let's see. Hybrid fighting pancreation. What is what is pancreation technically? I'd like to know. It's a jab. More jabs. Buntello's running out of gas. Yeah. All right, Gibson. Gibson might do it just out of the fact that he's not nearly as big. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Buntello just knocked his ass. Not out, but definitely down. I was like, ah, oh, you might get this. Bam. Nope, never mind. Oh, there you go. Oh, fucking Lance Gibson. Holy shit. Oh, my God. He got knocked onto the floor with a huge shot. And then Gibson locks it a Kimura, and that's it. Oh, shit. Buentella had him dead to rights. He couldn't finish him. And then Gibson Gibson pulls it out at the end. He did get a lot of jabs in, but, yeah, Buentella was really wailing on with the big strikes. Wow, Gibson got that one. Name checked everyone. Visibly delighted. Yeah, I, I'd be visibly delighted, too, if you just, like, fucking pulled a win out your ass like that. All right, Valentin Overeem facing this dude. Let's not... I mean, to be fair, it seems pretty close, but, you know, we'll see what happens. Overeem already with a takedown. Just immediately. And a Kimura, and it's over. Jesus Christ. Okay, well, shit. <laughs> I figured there's going to be a little bit more to this. I guess not. Overeem just fucking took the dude down and just slapped on a fucking submission and that was it. Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Well, I guess that's it. Valentin Overeem with a win. There you go. Praise this team. He's, he's very happy to cap his revolution debut with a win. Nice. All right. <laughs> Andre the Chief Roberts, let's go, boys. See if he can battle a no-face and win. That's what he needs here. Shoots for a takedown immediately, gets the takedown, fires away with punches. Oh, my God. I thought we were about to see it twice. <laughs> Just like, now, now my turn. <laughs> Uh, it's kind of interesting to think about, like, Andre Roberts doing this. Like, he's a big dude, 340 pounds. He's a real big dude. <laughs> Lover and Clark upgrades Andre Roberts. Oh, no, go back. Uh, oh, really? The 340-pound dude is starting to run out of gas? Consider me shocked. <laughs> Shocked, I tells you. Oh, Roberts with another big takedown. This might be it enough. This might be enough. Oh, uh, nope. Still can't get a still can't get a uh, submission locked in though. Oh, never mind. All right. Well, he's just gonna. <laughs> okay. If I'm not gonna if I'm not gonna lock in a submission, I'll just beat you into submission. <laughs> and that's exactly what happens. Andre the Chief Roberts just beating Donald Como into submission. <laughs> and it's over. Roberts thanks everyone at his team. Celebrates his revolution debut victory, says he's already looking forward to the next fight. All right, here's hoping Dave Mann just annihilates Mikey Burnett on his way out the door. Oh, no, already. Already it's a... Already he's... 
with a with a takedown. Oh shit! Come on, don't do this to me. Oh no, this is gonna make me look like shit if he doesn't. Oh no! <laughs> Come on, god damn it! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Really? All right, well that's a thing. Hey, men's gonna do it. No, never mind. Well, I figured men could do it, but I guess not. That's cool. Yeah, just, 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 yeah, just, just do that. It's not like he told you totally don't need a something. Come on, get a fucking takedown on him for fuck's sake. Oh, really? Tell me this at least goes nineteen nineteen. Come on. 1918 Burnett. 1919. 1919. All right. Round three. Let's go. Holy Jesus. Come on, man. Get something. Oh, no. There's the takedown. Ah, oh, shit. Well, it was a good try. I mean, he could still do something. But I don't know. He hasn't, he hasn't been able to out-wrestle Mikey Burnett. I just don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> Under a minute left. Uh, pull him to the ground. No. Okay. Grab it. Oh, oh. Oh, I thought he was going to be able to submit him. Damn. Damn it. Yeah, Burnett's probably got that one then. There you go. Yeah, Mikey Burnett getting the win there. That one dude is just like that. Nah, it wasn't even. It wasn't even close. <laughs> Damn it! All right, cool. Yep. Respect for men. All right, cool. And they get the fuck out. Speaking of people who need to get the fuck out. Joe Charles about to annihilate Brennan Kamaka. Come on, let's go. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Set up counter strikes. I need to see what else. <laughs> Andre Roberts has the look of the face of the company. I want. I just want to. I just want to play. I just want to play the Meskwaki Casino commercials again. To show you what the face of an MMA company looks like. I just want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Andre Roberts. Commercial. Oh, that didn't help. Oh, time expired. Uh, Kamaka got it. <laughs> At least for that one. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see, Kamaka. Charles tries to take him down. Hey, he actually got him. Oh, yeah, he is a judo guy, isn't he? Oh, shit. Come on, Charles. Fucking bury him. There you go. Fuck you. Joe Ghetto Man Charles. Just rear naked choking this. It really does feel almost like just imagine this 280 pound dude like Joe Charles and then this 190 pound dude like Kamaka. <laughs> Jesus Christ. There you go. No, it's it's <laughs> It's not it's not cross dressing, but it is it is just an interesting like he's coming. Oh my god. Are we is that really just how big they're, you're going to you're going to let this be? Yeah, just <laughs> closer than you. Think. I I did I did one and Ultimate I did fighting championship. And I didn't veteran. do the second one. And Xbox video game star Andre <laughs> the Chief Roberts. That's the face of a company right there. Are you having a good time? <laughs> sure thing, Andre. Just making sure. <laughs> I forgot I forgot about the second one is also in here. <laughs> it's bingo gone wild. 
at Meskwaki Bingo <laughs> Casino Hotel. Nowhere else will you find more fun. <laughs> this is and more games. This is going to be the face of the company right here. We've got the highest <laughs> bingo stakes in the state. So come on over to Meskwaki. <laughs> it's bingo gone. Hey, you going to be the at Meskwaki Bingo Casino are, are you gonna be are you gonna be the face of the company, Andre? So come on over to Meskwaki. <laughs> it's big- oh god damn it. <laughs> okay. Joe Charles Dave checks his sponsors, he praises Kamaka for his skill and toughness. Alright. Hey Total, what's up? <laughs> All right, this is time for Carlos Newton in the co-main event to get his get his get his heat back. This is it right here. There you go. Shoot it on. Let's go, Carlos Newton. Doing what Carlos Newton does best. <laughs> come on. <laughs> oh, oh, come on. Lock in that submission and finish him off. It's done. Come on. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I'm waiting for it to happen. That Dragon Ball Jiu Jitsu is gonna get him. We're going to see the difference between Dragon Ball Jiu-Jitsu and regular Jiu-Jitsu. Oh, oh, got the takedown. Holy shit. Come on. <laughs> yeah, Carlos Newton got that one. Come on, this man, this man has has gotten finishes. He doesn't he doesn't win by decision. He gets finishes. There you go. Takedown attempt. Uh, in the mount, you know, hey, come on. Past the halfway point, body triangle. He got him. He got him. Wow, we actually got to the second round with that one, but he got him. Rear naked choke. That's it. That Dragon Ball Jiu Jitsu showing his worth as Carlos Newton getting another win. I'm telling you, this is. This is this is why I've been moving away from Laverne Clark. This is why I like Carlos Newton. Is he's gotta he's gotta have that uh, he's he's gonna have to be the new face of the company here. By the way, funny thing about Carlos Newton, um, he's actually one of the fighters. Okay, so I think I mentioned this how I I was m- like making a whole bunch more guys to use for uh, Fire Pro. And on top of a bunch of wrestlers, I got a bunch of fighters. And there was a good portion of, like, old school pride fighters. So I've got, like, pride versions of, like, Chuck Liddell and uh, Rampage Jackson. And one of the pride guys that was there was Carlos Newton. So Carlos Newton could legitimately show up in CFC at some point. Uh, it, it'd probably have to be in like, you know, one of those, uh, um, you know, big fucked, uh, uh, um, exploding bat matches to try to, to try to get a spot, but he could show up. Is it way like a squash victim? Uh, I mean, it's not really a squash, but I mean... You know, Newton needed to get his win back, so I knew it was I knew that that had to that had to happen. All right, Dangerous Dan Henderson with his first official title defense against Yamato Damashi and Sinanoe. They they have to be they have to be related. Look at him, yes. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Henderson versus... This is more going to be a squash than anything right here. I'll be shocked if Inoue actually wins. There you go. Takedown. Successful. Got the takedown. All right. Pounds away. <laughs> let's, see what, let's see what he does. I'm waiting for him to... I'm just waiting for him to lock in that submission. Like, this is... There's an outmatching here. It would really, it would really like surprise me. No, nope, most not the most exciting round, but Henderson got the takedown. So big right, close in on Henderson. Uh, let's see what he's got. Quick strikes, moving in and down to range. More punches. Looks like he's uh, trying to trying to keep him uh, sort of from trying to shoot in on him. 
Uh, I don't know. Henderson looks like he's got getting the better end of him, even on top. In no way trying to make something happen, but uh, I think Henderson might have it. Big strike. There you go. Henderson's got this one. Even if he doesn't finish him off, that's got to do it right there. That's got to be it. Done. But that's got to be 20. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's a championship. It's championship. So, yeah, they got four rounds no matter what. <laughs> so he's probably going to finish him off. I, I, I can't see him lasting four rounds. Slips past him. Eh. Oh, never mind. He's out. <laughs> it's like he might be. Nope. Henderson just knocked him the hell out. Damn. Well, that was that was a lot. This is a lot of knockouts in this in this uh, in this. There you go. Henderson name check people at AMC Pancration, friends and family. He's got the F the Revolution FC open weight title around his waist. He celebrates continuing his reign as champion. Commercial rating forty six, which is better than even a high level regional, which means we should be getting some. Decent boost in popularity. 10,000 gate. Uh, hopefully, it needs some actual decent money for us. I don't know. 0. 0.7 popularity increase. Uh, KO the night. Yeah, we'll give it to Henderson. Submission-y is Joe Charles. I'm going to put Carlos Newton. Charles can Charles can take uh, Charles can take fight of the night, but I'm going to give Newton the submission. There you go. So we made $382. Jesus Christ. All right. Well, so we're going to have to, we're going to have to make some decent money at this. Oh, look at that. Ray Cooper could be heading to USC in the future. Ah, oh, fuck. Well, shit. Thank you, Brunette. USC approach Ray Cooper. Oh, why is he? Here? He can take. He can go off by short list. So it looks like we're le losing more people. Great. If they take Carlos Newton, I'll never forgive UFC. I'll declare war on UFC. Any one of these companies who take Carlos Newton from me are 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 signing their death wish. <laughs> That's going to happen. I still don't have money for anything. Uh, let me see. Da, 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 absences. So most people need like 20 days or so. So I'm going to give it 20 days. I'm going to give it till. Uh, yeah, we need 20 days. So. Let's let's go to, let's go to uh, Monday anyway of that that April. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna sim that real quick, and I'm gonna be back in just a couple minutes because I need to go grab some water because my mouth is getting dry and I am out of uh, I am out of a uh, uh, drink and I need some water. So I'll be right back.
Ugh. Hang on. Ugh. <sighs> Steve Lee, that is, I, I'm sure that picture is not from when he was 21, but I want him just because of how he looks. He looks like someone's dad who's about to beat the shit out of him. Just some kid on his lawn. Ugh. In hindsight, I probably should have gotten more water. I, I should have filled up the jug. <clears throat> What's up? Oh. My roommate left. He has no idea why he... Um, why he... Uh, uh, ooh, a Noguera. He has no idea why he agreed to go hang out with his brother. Because he was up way too late last night doing the same thing did I watch did I watch the wrestling show today no I read about it which was probably far more amusing than actually watching it <laughs> uh, more falling out with people alright Bray Cooper left that's fine there we go <clears throat> Let's see. He's a hundred bucks. All right. Where's he? Where's he? Where's he out of right now? Here. Let's see. Can we negotiate? All right. Here. Let's talk him. Let's talk him into moving. There you go. All right. Now let's negotiate. Uh, our our typical four years, ten fights. Here. I give you a hundred and ten dollars, buddy. That's how much I like you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Noguera is here. Alexandra Franca Noguera. <laughs> like, wait. I really want to know who Steve Lee is. This looks like a dude who was like, I, Steve, whoops, Steve Dominance, Dominance Lee. There's, there's like nothing. I can't find shit on this dude. What like Steve Lee, MMA? Is this, is this just a dude that someone made? Oh, he turned pro in April. That okay. So this was a dojo dude. That's why. Uh, I now I really want to know whose picture he's using. Then he's a dojo dude that the game made. But I really want to know whose picture he's using. Oh, wait. Jerry Harris. Yeah, I, I gotta I gotta see this dude. Because this looks like... <laughs> this looks like a dude. I, you wouldn't want to... There has to be a... There has to be a, a, a story with this, right? This looks like a dude who'd have a story. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm looking. Maybe I'm looking too into it. I had to say he doesn't look like he doesn't look like the dude in the picture. I don't know. Everything's weird. Today's just been weird. <laughs> Yeah, that sure dog thing. Oh, there it is. Oh, what the? Hey, that's the picture. Okay. That's the... Why do you insist on being this way? There you go. I mean, that's the dude. One win, four losses. That sounds That sounds like him. <laughs> there was a much more famous Gerald Lewis in there. Gerald Harrison. UFC. That's a six eight three thirteen, and this dude 
could only manage one win in the early UFC days. Wow. Too bad he's obviously retired because I want to use him now. His last fight lasted 19 seconds. He sounds great. So this dude is an old man fighting in UFC. Okay. I had C now. <sighs> Did it really say he was born in 1935? Oh, it just says N.A. Yeah, it might have been. <laughs> that's, that's, that's insane, though. I do like that. It was like, do you mean Gerald Harris? No. I mean old man Jerry Harris. That's who I'm looking for. All right, <laughs> so um, <laughs> how much are they asking? Yeah, a thousand. Yeah, I'm I'm good for right now. I need some cheaper dudes. I think I need to start working that into like cheaper dudes now. I think that's probably a good idea. Any dudes, by the way, who are cheap? 800's not bad, but I think he's getting signed by somebody, isn't he? I don't feel like, yeah, I don't, I don't feel like spending no $1,600. I want Steve Lee, though, just for that fucking picture. $800, I don't think I would, oh, man. <laughs> I feel like I got to anyway. Uh, I'll shortlist him. I'll see how this. I'll see how this young buck, how he does. <laughs> and uh, what do I need? Another week or so. Let's go another week, and we'll uh, we'll grab we'll grab some guys. Or we'll grab some guys to do uh, another show with. Uh, Conan. Uh, let's see. All right. Let, let, let's see where we're at here. David Hood retired. Uh, Nogueira signed his contract. Steve Lee joined Real American Wrestling. Oh, Matsu joined Real American Wrestling. Nice. Gimmick where we make a local fighters on night tournament when the winner gets an actual title match. I could, I could try something like that. I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's see here. All right, I think it's time to look and see about making our next event. Revolution 6. We'll do... Eh, let's do... What are we at? Week 3. All right, some guys who aren't around, but we got other guys who are around. I want to see because I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to lose too much money on this. I just want to see who's around when. And how soon I can make this happen. All right. Yeah. Let's just make it week two. I, I think I got enough guys to not even have to use these guys. I can, I can, I think I can make something out of the rest of these, rest of these dudes. <clears throat> Let's go. Sure. At a fight. Who's who is it? All right, champion, champion Dan Henderson. Who should he face? Who's who's his best? We've got now nah, these two fought already at the Grand Prix. Uh, Jesus Christ. 
Jesus Christ. I don't want to use like all these dudes just this is the closest fight we have right now and this dude doesn't have <laughs> Dan Henderson too goddamn good I don't want to do Henderson versus Newton Newton just got off of a just got off of a loss so maybe we'll give him like one more I think that's the thing oh Let's let's put the belt on the line. Let's make it a title defense. And we'll give Newton another another fight to showcase his, his abilities. Ooh, Valentin Overeem. Ooh. Ooh, he should have a he should have a uh uh this should be a co main event right here. I think I think this should be this would be a strong main event is what it says. I feel I feel like this should be our co-main event. I feel like we don't even need to have Henderson on the raw on on this. I feel like Henderson doesn't even need to fight on this. That's what we'll do. Henderson will sit out because I don't feel like paying that much, and we'll uh, we'll pay for some lesser guys here. That's what'll happen. Like we'll have uh, <laughs> have them destroy and make a wish, kid. Nogueira versus Overeem. Man, that's <laughs> it's. It would sound way more exciting in in like 2010 than it would in 1998. Yeah, we're gonna have Nogueira versus Overeem. Oh shit. <laughs> Yeah, Alexandra Franca Noguera versus Valentino over him. Uh oh. <laughs> well, that's a fight too. Uh, let's see. That's pretty close. Buentello, Buentello can't get a win to save his life. Here, he's a slight favorite going into this. Come on, you guys could do this, right? How much? How much? Okay, not a ton of money. <laughs> could this be a number one contenders match? I. Th think it could let me see Kohler Kohler did lose his Kohler was the one who faced yeah he beat Newton he beat Kason, so he lost to Dan Henderson so technically What I need is guys who have actual faces. 
Because I don't want to pay all this money for people. <laughs> dudes in there to fight i like how this would actually be a potential main event but i'm just like nah nah we're just we're just throwing together a couple dudes that's that's all we're really doing here <laughs> so we could have some like decent like main fight dudes happening here fill out the card so I don't have to have a bunch of uh, money being spent Not a lot of expensive dudes. <laughs> I think I have what two. Yeah, I need to. I need to make some actual money here. I'm losing it. <laughs> All right, cool. So we are at week two. We are a little over a month away. Oh god, do I want to do it right now? Fuck it. I might as well. Right. I am probably, you know, let's just keep going a week until we get there. We can probably get two of them done today. It's a month away. Then we can, then the next time we can look into actually building something after that. We can, we can look into building, building a card afterwards. This is our, this is our, uh, this is our glorified house show card. It's got some guys on it, but the undercard is like meh. I I actually I actually uh, I I went out and got got some food, and it was at a sports bar. Uh, took took my mom out for dinner. Uh, nothing 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 big. Just she just wanted something like just nothing nothing fancy at all. So we we're just like yeah, there's a nice sports bar. And they had the UFC weigh-ins going on. And my mom doesn't know much about UFC at all. She's like, ah, oh, what's this UFC thing? And ah, oh, who is she who is she talking about? Um Oh yeah, she I guess she kinda knows about Conor McGregor. She was like she was like, Oh yeah, is he the rude guy? And I think it was uh, it was like some sort of uh, uh, sit down interview with like Derek Lewis. I'm like, no, that dude's funny. I think you're probably thinking about Conor McGregor because he threw a he threw a uh, uh, a dolly through a bus window. She's like, oh yeah, him. All right, thanks for thanks for coming by, Light Death. Appreciate it. But I did have a fun time explaining Derek Lewis to my mom. Especially his post-fight interviews. That might have been my favorite part. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me see if there is some... Oh! Oh, that's a fight team. A new fight team. Ooh, what is it? John Alessio. Ooh, Canada. Why not? 
Watch him get taken immediately. It's got to happen. It, he's definitely he's definitely going to get taken, I bet. I like how that's like the older version of him. Like the more current. And that's probably like late 20, like, you know, early 2010s. Copyright bottle, never know. El Toro, Alex Andrade. Why not? This dude, this dude looks like someone I would want to have around. And for a hundred and thirty dollars, I got I got no problems getting El Toro. <laughs> any 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 more interesting dudes? Oh, Steve Lee, man. Ooh, the red-nosed pit bull Steve Berger. This this looks like another dude I would want. Let's just grab more people. That's just that's just really what this is all about. Grab cheap people. There you go. Grab cheap people. The sharpshooter Ian James Shaffa. Sure. At this point, what do I got to lose? It's not like I'm making cash. Oh, look, Walter. Uh, let's see here. Da, 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 da. He's $800 a fight. That's nah, all right. Eric Paulson. Damn, 1400 a fight, huh? All right, I think I'm good. I think, uh, what is it, week two? Oh, yeah, I meant to do Saturday. Shit. That's all right. I wonder if that means anything to do it on a Monday instead of a Saturday. I guess we'll find out. Go me. Watch there be like hardly anybody because of it. Like I really fucked up. Oh no. Oh no. No. Dan Henderson. Carlos Newton. Matt Hume. Egan and Noe. Lance Gibson. Freakland. Lindland. Why? Why? <laughs> no. UFC. What are you doing? Rip to me indeed. Holy shit. They're taking away all my best guys. Well, I guess this fucking main event doesn't goddamn matter now. And I'm 17 grand in the hole because I, I spent... Man, people better fucking show up for this. <laughs> I'm going to be pissed. I'm already not happy. I'm just not happy. All right, we got a bunch of fights. It should be interesting, whatever. Hey, all right. Faceless guy beat faceless guy. I'm not happy now. God damn it. One week, I was I was feeling good. One week, and this shit happens. When do I become big enough? There you go. Matt Lindland beat a faceless dude. All right, cool. Here's a regular fight. God. Not big enough to be able to do this. Glender got a takedown. Submission attempt. Oh, that's it. All right, cool. Minute five. Knee bar. Rodney Glender got the win. All right. Yeah. Oh, no. Uematsu got it. I thought it said Glender got it locked in. Okay. Uematsu beats Glender. Eh, poor Glender gets getting his ass kicked. Andre the Chief Roberts versus Royce Alger. God forbid Andre Roberts leaves as well. I, I just close the doors at that point. It's like, well, there's no point in this anymore. <laughs> uh, my best dudes. Just all of them. Wow. 
Don't they have like 85,000 people already? Alger trying to choke him out. Oh no. Now now to make this worse, Alger's gonna they got the fans going. Oh great. Now Alger is gonna beat Andre Roberts. I can see that this is gonna be this is gonna be a rough, rough night for me. This is gonna be a real rough night. <laughs> This is a this is a black Monday right here. Time to sign Steve Lee. Takedown attempt by Roberts. Hey, good job. Tries to lock up an arm. Oh no, and then he taps out fucking Andre Roberts. Royce Alger got the win. Uh good for him. I guess it was a great fight. That's cool. Name check. He's got a lot of, a lot of respect for Andre Roberts. Dwayne Kason and Paul Bolantello. Hey, is Paul Bolantello going to, like, get a win at some point? That would be... Yeah, this is just going to... This is just going gonna... <laughs> to... It's just... It just feels sad now. Oh, I don't know why. I just, I just feel sad. Uh, let's see, a one-two from Boantella. Hey, maybe he might get something going here. I mean, this this has already been a thing. Come on, man. Maybe you can get yourself a win. Make make this make this day feel a little bit better. Dude, didn't I just go grab something to drink like ten minutes ago? I nearly finished this off already. That's how fucking dry my mouth is. What the f- It must be the fucking air. Just the air getting cold and dry from just it being winter is just making my mouth just insanely... Ugh. <laughs> I've just been at work all day, but it's like I've been drinking because I got cotton mouth <laughs> without the drinking part. Or is it smoking? I forget. Maybe it's a little bit of both. It gives you cotton mouth. I feel like drinking wouldn't give you cotton mouth. It's got to be smoking. Because <laughs> it wouldn't make sense that you'd feel thirsty after drinking. <laughs> All three judges, 2018. Hey, Paul Bolantello gets a win. It's a unanimous decision, but you know what? A win is a win. This is how Paul Lee felt when WCW took all of his Lucha and Canadian talent, probably. There you go. Alexandra Franca Noguera versus Valentino Overeem. All right. A battle of who's going to get taken by UFC next month. <laughs> Overeem is much bigger than him. 63250 versus 57168. A lot of people wondering why the hell I would do that. <laughs> All right. Oh god. Well, I feel like fan fiction is getting written right now. Huh? Nogara mounts over him. Tries to get his elbow in there, pounds away at him. Well, he's just pounding on Overeem. Overeem trying to block it, but <laughs> Nogueira's having none of it. Immediately takes Overeem to the ground. Gets a better position. <laughs> he tries to transition. He gets himself into a mount. He gets the mount. He pounds away at Overeem. Fires away at him. This is this is just how I'm this is just how I'm gonna get my kicks now. Overeem just getting like dominated by by Nogueira. This wasn't even this didn't even seem very close to be honest. Like it's clearly Nogueira clearly just like owned that. <laughs> just owned that for ten minutes. There you go, Nogueira gets it. 
Valentin Overeem getting his first loss. Carlos Newton versus scuffed Kurt Angle. Let's go. Wonder if you can mod Nagata into this. Probably. <laughs> We're about to see. Uh, let's see what happens. Kolo throws a quick punch. Let's see. Quick one, two. Yeah, he was technically an MMA. Ow, fuck. I hit my foot like a motherfucker. Oh, look, he got him. He choked him out. All right, cool, man. The fucking Carlos Newton with a great choke out. Man, that's great. I'd be so much more excited if it was if I if it I wasn't pretty much sure that he was leaving. Thanks to sponsors in his face. Like he just very quietly like, yep, okay, yep, cool. That's that's all right. Yep. Okay. 41, cool. Did we at least make some money? Wow, we got even less money. I spent all that money on on people trying to show up like on like advertising this and it still didn't still it even it brought in even less than last time i i hate life <laughs> fine i'll take it there you go we made 6300 we're still not out of the we're still not out of the red andre roberts goes to the hospital oh no oh yeah tito ortiz Spent the night in the hospital. Oh, no. So he might be out for a little bit. Two months, two weeks. Well, after that, I don't feel like I don't feel like going through too many days right now because I know what's going to happen and I'm not happy about it. <laughs> so... <laughs> Uh, wow. I'm just trying to look at some stuff here. Oh, great. More financial issues. How are we minus 10,000? I thought we made some money. Oh, Christ. Oh, we're just going to die. We're just going to die a horrible death. That's what's going to happen here. I mean, we're we're. I don't know what we have left, but it's not going to make us money. We can't make money. There's just no money to make. <laughs> Let's just get it over with and get get Bob Sapp in here. <laughs> where's where's Bob Sapp? All right. Well, oh wait, no, that's not where we're at. So, all right, yeah, let's let's. I'm gonna go through. I'm gonna go through one week, and just see who we lose. Here, six days. All right, what will happen? Oh, okay. Left this team, joined a new team. That dude joined UFC. Newton has gone to UFC. Henderson went to UFC. Noe went to UFC, Santos went to UFC, Lindland went to UFC, Gibson, Hume, Freakland, and that dude went to UFC. All right, so let's see what our roster looks like now. And we still got some dudes. We still got scuffed Kurt Angle and Andre Roberts, and Noguera did pretty damn good. A uh, bunch of faceless dudes I now can't ditch because we just lost most of our, like, decent dudes. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I always still have Charles. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. We barely have enough to make a, a full card of like actual faced fighters. Damn it, we were doing so good. <laughs> <sighs> that is fine. I'll have to. I'll have to figure this out, man. 
I don't know why I I completely fucked that up, by the way, because I did the matchmaking and I went to add the show. I should have done like medium local. I should have made it so we only spent like maybe two grand. I don't know why I forgot to change that. That's completely on me. Because now we spent like fifteen. We spent like eight thousand dollars on a show that just it doesn't make any sense to spend that much money. That was really on me. God damn it. We could have had some decent money too. I don't think we were still going to pull ourselves out. Or would have helped. That's all right. We'll 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 continue to keep seeing how I could do this. Because at this point, like, I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. But all right. This is this is what the dark days look like. Now we now we got to see who's going to stick around during the dark days. Why can't I gain popularity for for anything? Look at this. Five percent. That's cool. That's great. Awesome. It needs to be bigger. <laughs> I need to be national here soon. Uh, but yeah, I'll have to. I'll have to figure this out. That's 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 gonna be the that's gonna be the key here. I'm gonna become a big company, and I'm gonna sign those people away from UFC, and I'm gonna bury UFC <laughs> under the ground. I'm gonna play something else here on stream, but. Uh, yeah, it's it's been it's been fun. Oh right. We don't have a champion anymore now. <sighs> yeah, I'll have to I'll have to check. Uh, you know what I'll do is I'm going to have to check not just America. Is I'm going to have to check some of the other places around for some uh uh <laughs> I'm going to have to get steeply uh, I'll have to check like uh, you know Japan and places like that and try to grab some some relatively inexpensive people there. I think that's the next. I think that's the next thing. Yeah, there might be there might be some people there. Even if I even if I up there, oh. <laughs> Oh no. Am am I really going to spend $2300 to bring him in? Am I really going to spend $2300 to bring him in? Oh no. <laughs> I wonder if this is why I'm so arrogant when I'm doing HP. <laughs> it's cuz I'm making money. When I'm not making money, I'm not I'm not I'm not happy. <laughs> Ah, uh, that might that might be our that might be our our new open weight champion right there. <laughs> why did Pancrase not? Why did Pancrase let him go? That's weird. All right. Oh, let's see. <laughs> Can I talk to him into moving? Oh, damn it. All right. Well, <laughs> I guess that dream just got shattered. I should have waited so I could just shatter. I could just shatter my dream right at the beginning of the next one. Instead of the fact that because I'm too low, I can't hire him and I can't talk him into moving. So I just shattered that dream. <laughs> Cool. I'll have to. I'll have to find some some new some new stuff to do then. Some some new dream shattering things to do. All right. I feel like playing football. <laughs> I don't feel like I don't feel like being a part of this factory of sadness anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna figure it out for the next time. But for right now, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna do something else so on, on the stream here i'll be doing that if you're watching this on youtube thank you very much i greatly appreciate it and i will see you next time